So we have another image sent in from at a little blonde in paradise. So go give her a follow. And when we come down and look at her photos, we can see she's using a teal and gold color grade. So I really like this color grade for travel or fashion. And as we come down, we can see a lot of golds and teals. So really like this. And let's jump into Lightroom and edit a photo she sent us. Okay, so in Lightroom, and this is the image we have been sent. So as you can see, we've got those teals up in the sky and those golds here in the building and throughout most of the image. So we're going to go about getting that. And the first thing I'm going to do, which is going to really help get those golden tones, is bring up the warmth. I'm going to bring it up quite a bit. And then obviously I'm going to have to bring it down later in other areas. So a bit of tint. And if you guys are wondering what this red stuff is here, so that's showing us where we're overexposed. So if I was to drop the highlights, we're no longer overexposed up there. And how you get those is come up to here, histogram, and this is our waves, and it says we're overexposed up here. So if you want to get rid of those or get them, click on this little arrow here. I'm going to leave them off because I'm just trying to match what's going on in that picture. So that's how you do that and on to highlights i'm going to bring that all the way down i'm going to actually bring up contrast a bit shadows i'm going to bring almost all the way up as you can see it's a very bright image and if you practice enough you'll start to notice whether there is a lot of shadows or blacks and you learn to tell the difference a bit better so i'm going to bring them a long way up whites I'm going to bring down a bit and I'm going to bring blacks up so we have a very washed out image so far and I'm just going to bring up clarity a bit as you can see those very defined lines can be helped with clarity, a bit of vibrance, a bit of extra saturation. So it's looking very flat and we've got pretty much no contrast, but we've got the colors quite good so far. They still need to be done with the HSL sliders, but to get that contrast, we need to work with these. So we want the fade and the blacks which is very popular. So I'm going to bring that up to about to about there. And that's very popular to do, but now we're really washed out. So what you need to do is bring the shadows down. And I'm going to bring them a long way down. And coming over to the highlights, so to get a sky a bit more like hers, we're going to bring down the whites. And it's not too obvious at the moment what it's doing, but what that will do is just help us get a bit of color into those very bright areas. Doesn't need to be done in every photo, but and this one I'm going to bring them down to about there. So now we have the colors kind of close. It's too saturated and they need to be tweaked. But we can do that with HSL sliders. So what I'm going to do, start with the hue. I'm actually going to start with a saturation. Because it's hard to work with the colors when you're so bright. I'm going to bring the oranges down a lot and the yellows down. So they're going to be our two main colors. So 
So greens, we've got a bit of greens over here, and they, as you can see, they're quite desaturated. Bring down aquas a little. Blues, can't do much with them. Purples, I'm going to bring down. Not a lot going on with them, but bringing them down just to keep it similar to everything else. Not a lot going on with magenta. So I'm going to come back up to hue and I'm going to shift the actual colors to the color I want. So if I want my oranges to be more red. yellows to be more orange and my greens to be more yellow so warm up those greens and the blues are about right might shift the blues to more of a teal a light a light blue. You can't see them too much at the moment, but they'll come in a lot in split toning. Magenta. So luminance, and luminance is the brightness of every color. So I'm going to brighten the reds. As you can see, it's pretty much only affecting the door some dark shadows and her her skin so I'm going to bring it up quite a bit and the oranges I'm going to bring down and as you can see that's affecting your skin as well and it's actually bringing in some contrast now bringing in some saturation I mean yellows I very often bring up because that creates a very bright image. Greens, I am going to bring up. So you can see what that's doing. I'm just trying to match them with the same brightness as over there. So I'm going to bring them up to about D1 50 52 ish go with that and on to blues we can't see much at the moment as we haven't done our split toning I'm gonna drop these so this will give us a deeper blue once we put some blues in there So on the split toning, I'll just do just do these quickly. Yeah, pretty much no magenta and purple in here. Okay, so on the split toning, and this is very important. So as you can see, we've got a warm sky. We don't want that. We want a nice teal blue sky. And the sky is highlights, so we're going to put some blue in the highlights. Okay, so that's quite a bit, and you might be thinking that is too much, and we've lost the gold in the building, but with the shadows, we are now going to put in some gold or orange and I'm going to put it to about there so we're getting closer and if we keep coming down I'm going to do quite a bit of sharpening a lot of sharpening but you need to bring up the masking for this because 
We don't want these little tiny bricks to be sharp. And Alt, you can see what we're sharpening exactly. We only really want the really big lines to be sharp. But I'm just going to leave it at about 50. So we're looking pretty close now. And if we keep coming down, just going to put a bit of grain in there. Won't be able to notice it too much. But there is some grain in this one. And now our sky is looking all washed out. No contrast, so it's much darker up here. Our sky has got a bit more blue in it, but it's still looking not very blue. So I'm going to do a radial filter. The bottom half of our image is looking great. It pretty much matches up exactly. But what she must have done is use one of these to bring some more contrast up top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the whites. Going to drop the shadows. Oh, see what we've done. The filter's actually facing the wrong way. So I'm going to turn it around so it affects sky. Click this little box to go back to how we were. So if I reset these, I can actually show you what's really happening. So I'm going to bring down these shadows darkens the top of our building like her image. The whites I'm going to bring down. And the blacks I'm going to bring up a bit. I'm going to bring up a lot. But when we come down and add in a bit of dehaze, that's going to really bring in that dark outline. And they've got really sharp outlines at the top. So I'm thinking a bit of clarity as well. Make stuff pop a bit. and a bit of saturation because it's looking a little dull up there so we are about done I think and yeah so here's our before and after before after so we really brightened it up got those teals rather than blues got those nice golds so yeah I can't see much else that differs these people down here have been photoshopped out so you can see there is no one in the doorway of this one but I won't show you on this one I've showed you in a few others how to go into Photoshop and uh, Photoshop objects out but in this one I'm not gonna go into it but I'm gonna leave it there guys so if you like this make sure to leave a comment go follow a little blonde in paradise on Instagram her links will be in the description and yeah we've got some more styles coming some winter styles some uh, landscape stuff so it's not gonna just be these travel tropical type color grades and yeah, leave a like, thanks for watching, check out my preset pack if you like these, and yeah, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next month.